this is live angiography video we are giving 1 cc local anesthesia at right radial just here above 1 inches of right wrist joint and we are given cannulated with a needle through the needle we are passing one wire and after passing the wire we remove the needle cannula now skin tag at wire level and after the skin tag small incision we are inserting a catheter right radial catheter sheath that will engage the catheter to do angiography now we remove the wire and we kept only the radial sheath and aspirating with saline filled heparin after that we give cocktail that means diltiazem nitroglycerin and heparin these three drugs combination is called radial procedure cocktail the purpose of this cocktail is to relieve the spasm in the radial artery during or after before the procedure and during this injection patient may feel little warm sensation in the right arm for that we are giving counseling to the patient to bear the burning sensation that lost for 5 to 10 seconds and now i am taking the catheter tick catheter to see the angiography and now i am aspirating contrast into the syringe this is the contrast connected with the syringe and we have to ensure there should not be any micro air bubbles if we leave the air bubbles patient may develop air embolism sometimes acute myocardial infection due to air embolism now we are seeing right coronary artery angiographically so clearly visible and we see right coronary in different views so this is a clearly visible in the right side you can see the monitor in the monitor we see the heart rate blood pressure and saturation of the patient sometimes patient may develop little discomfort there may be a slightly drop of blood pressure during this procedure so all these should be monitored properly to ensure the patient's safety and comfortness in order to get complete view of the right coronary artery this is a radio tube so moving in different direction different angle to ensure and to diagnose the coronary artery in all level to diagnose disease now the left coronary system left coronary angiography is being done in the left coronary artery also will be done in different angle different position in order to get the best result different views by seeing the anatomy sometimes we need extra angle and a special views to see the junctions and lateral vessels sometimes angulated vessels however during the procedure we advise the patient not to move head legs or arms they can lie down comfortably there won't be any discomfort 
So the left coronary artery is being evaluated in different tangation. The picture tubes, X-ray tube is moving different angle. Then next, the patient is comfortably, patient can watch. And meanwhile, we ask the patient for any discomfort. That discomfort, immediately, we try to relieve the discomfort during the procedure. And this will be interacting with the patient, will be helpful to risk the patient complaint. This is the left cranial view. LAO. The patient's blood pressures has slightly fall down and we are seeing the monitor here the blood pressure is little drop 90-95 otherwise patient is very much comfortable patient doesn't have any chest pain some cases a little drop of blood pressure those who are coming to the cath lab with the borderline blood pressure they may develop slightly hypotension as long as they are comfortable there is no need to intervene the blood pressure drop in normal heart normal left ventricular function there won't be any necessity to intervene the slightly drop of blood pressure after the procedure the patient may comes into normal blood pressure now the process is over thank you for 